another sew with me for the quilted snowman by Lori Holt. I got this kit from Fat Quarter Shop, whom I shall link down below in the description box. Uh, I am an affiliate, so it helps me if you do use my link. Today we're making shimmering snowflake blocks. Aren't they cute? They're gonna finish at 12 and a half. First up, D and G. I'm still out of most of my alphabetes, so I'm winging it. D and G, I think that's those two. And then C is gonna connect to them. Put these two together first, side by side. Fourth of an inch seam allowance. You got me going side to side. I'm still making my quilt on the side here, a scrappy crossroads. I use it as leaders and enders. You'll see me doing these off and on. Let's cut all these apart. It doesn't matter which you press to. Probably press to the brown. Okay, these now are going to connect to C just like that. got these stacked up with one block 
on top, the other block on bottom, the color wise, so that way I can keep it straight. Or try to keep it straight. Best intentions. F's next. F, A, put those two together side by side. I guess we're not making all of these. Eight total. One, two. Okay, one more of this color. confused as to why I have extra of these because literally I can see that we only need the four but I've got eight oh looks like I cut too much supposed to cut four. I'll put I'm gonna put those back with my with my kit just in case because you never know. I'm gonna save them till the end before I put them in my stash. Apart. And now do we have pressing? We still no pressing. Oh, it says press open. Um, I always said press open for the other one too. I am not doing that. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. But you can if you want. If you want, then go for it. I'm going to press these to the solid brown. Snowflakes. Um, let's see. Since I pressed to the brown, 
on this one. It's going that way. So I'm going to press to my color blocks on this so my seams will nest. skipped a step we have to put these two together side by side this is what <laughs> okay that worked out we're gonna press these to the brown it'll still work for my nesting I was I don't know, confused in my usual state. My usual state of consciousness. Confusion. Absent minded quilter. Whoops. Another scrappy block. And I'll press all these to the brown. We'll put these two together. I hope I calculated right. I did. Nested. benefits of the nesting.
sure you're coordinating your fabric, Clint. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. I sold every one of those wrong. And I did press it incorrectly because of that. Damn. That sucks. That sucks. Since I pressed it the wrong way, I'm going to flip the seam before it goes under the needle to make it nasty. You better work. Supermodel work. Work it, girl. Do your thing on the runway. Work. Work it, girl. These two are right. The rest I'm going to have to rip. Story of my life. I'll fix. Kind of press down where I flipped that seam. Oops. Really bit. You're gonna have to keep up, girl. Scrappy. I am faster than my iron can press. I do for the seam ripping. First I stick it in and cut the end and then I slide it in between with the red dot on bottom and press it through. Push it through.
fix that slip seam. And then I'll press on. I'm going to press to the two solid squares. Like this. Grief, that's hot. All right, now we're going to take E. Make four from each set. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the first four, B, is going to be sewn this corner to corner. really good. I love it when that happens. these back for now. Okay, on these we're going to trim about a fourth of an inch away from our stitch line and press.
Okay, now H. And this background goes with the pink. And we're sewing the same direction. Corner to corner. usual my bobbin's almost gone why can't I ever have a full box my bobbin is always almost gone it's a it's a cultural phenomenon all right I'm gonna set these to the side because this yellow background goes with the sea glass fabric There's no way that's going to last more than just a couple more times. Trim and press. sure I had these right. Okay. And that's what that looks like. Bring these back and we're doing the same thing but the opposite way I'm assuming. Yep. here and we're just sewing these the opposite direction it's gonna go this corner to corner you know what I'd like to eat right, right about now pizza in buffet I haven't had that in a hot minute and it's so freaking good Alas, it won't be for me tonight. Maybe I can go tomorrow. Oh no, the worst thing happened. You know me and mom go eat every Thursday, right? And 
and my favorite sushi place we go to every freaking week was shut down by the police. It was on Facebook. It was just like people were in there eating. The police came in and said, shut it down and kicked. And um, I, what the rumor is, they did not pay their rent. They were evicted. What? What? Oh, what am I going to do for my sushi? That was the best Japanese place in town. Why the heck aren't they paying their freaking rent? Oh my God. We have one other Japanese place in town that pales in comparison to the beautiful sushi this place produces. of enormous proportions. I think I'm going to go ahead and change that bobbin now because I can see like two strings on it. So BRB. Okay, I went ahead and trimmed all these while I was winding. So I'm going to press them real quick. So why do I have so many of them? This is an extra one. I mean, that goes to the other palm. It's on the back. All right. Now the bottom goes on H. Same direction we're sewing. Just corner to corner. Now that um, yesterday's sew with me was the Witchy Manor from the Spooky Box, I did finish that. And the rest of those videos, there's two more, they'll be up this weekend. I, I got that done in one day. The cutting took me two, though. <laughs> two days, though. Cutting was a beast on that thing. I had to get it finished because I, I was, I'm out of alphabetics and I'm out of wonder clips. Like, I'm running on fumes over here. I've got so many whips, so I did not have storage for it. It had to be finished. Because that just sets me ahead for the weekend. It was a fun quilt to make.
those. They're mirror images of one another. See? And we're going to put them together just like that. Or just like, wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, please don't tell me I screwed these up. the profanity. <laughs> Woo! Crises averted. Oh, I was going to have a meltdown. Okay, put these together. Oh, that scared me. Into each knot, a little profanity must fall. And to each quilt, a little profanity must fall. My mom used to have a poster. Why did this woman have a poster of this in our living room? She had a poster of an elephant and a bird like under its tail like the elephant was going to poop on the bird and I think it said into each life a little S must fall or something. I can't remember exactly what it said but I remember that poster from when I was a kid. What was she thinking? Hanging that up in the living room. We also had like pea green carpet. This was definitely back in the 80s. We lived in a trailer. Uh, we had green carpet. The appliances. I can't remember if they were yellow or green. I don't know why I showed you that. Um, we had the couch. The typical 80s couch that had the wood arms and the scene was like a water meal. You know, you remember those couches? <laughs> hideous, hideous things that they were. We definitely had an 80s home. 70s trailer. In my dad's house, he had, him and Janie, they put carpet on their walls and mirrors that were like this gold foiling designs on them and squares and then carpet I mean oh my lord the 70s had some ugly decor macrame owls and stuff on the wall okay take your little things here and One of them, this could be like this. I 
remember that carpet in that trailer so well too. I think specifically for this because I rarely did anything I wasn't supposed to do, right? I was like a mother's dream child. I was very, very well behaved. So this one day, I remember every instance that I wasn't and it's drilled. I mean, I remember it vividly in my brain because I was doing something wrong. I told mom one day that I was sick and wanted to stay home from school, but I wasn't, right? Um, so she said, okay, she left to go to work and I began roller skating around the house, <laughs> the head carpet. So you could see like my roller skate marks all over the living room. So I only did time, I think, I think I was like fourth grade because we lived in that trailer and I was in fourth and fifth, so it was one of the two. Mama gets home, she's like, oh, did you vacuum? <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh, I was caught, right? And then I was like, uh, oh yeah, I did, but I didn't turn the vacuum on. <laughs> I was afraid she didn't notice the carpet was still dirty. She just kind of looked at me funny and didn't say anything. I don't know if she thought I was insane or something was wrong with me, right? And I, I never forget that. I never forgot that. Oh, I can't believe I just did My little skate roller skate tracks were everywhere. Shaking my head at myself. I just told them on that story. I just admitted that to my mother. She thought it was quite hilarious. She didn't remember, of course. It didn't mean anything to her. It wasn't significant. It was significant to me, though. Another time I did something I wasn't supposed to was um, mom was a real health food nut. That's probably why I love junk food so much because I was never allowed to have it. And, um, and unless I went to my grandmother Kellen's house and she always had junk food. I got to eat white bread and oh my gosh it was heaven on earth to me. But anyway, she told me, uh, this was uh, probably in kindergarten. I was real little with this one. Kindergarten and first grade. Two different things. Well, one thing I did wrong then was she had told me do not, I was going to my friend's house. She said, do not eat anything. Don't spoil your dinner. I said, okay. And so I went over there and promptly ate a popsicle, which I was not supposed to do. And I came home and started brushing my teeth because I was afraid she would see the red from the popsicle on my teeth. <laughs> and she came in the bathroom while I was brushing on <laughs> And she was like, um, I'm so proud of you brushing your teeth in the middle of the day. <laughs> and I just smiled. <laughs> Never. She still doesn't know about that one to this day. We're not allowed to have company when over when mom wasn't there. We were latchkey kids my whole life. She was in college at this point, and we lived on the college campus. But anyway, she had told us, you know, no visitors when I'm not home. And I came home from school one day, and there was a knock on the door, and I answered it, and there was this little boy from the neighborhood that I just loved, you know. And he was like, hey, um, can you play? 
He asked me to play. I don't know if he has to come in or to play or what. Um, I think he might have asked to come in. And I hesitated. And I, I, I really wanted to say yes, but I didn't. I said, no, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to have company when my mom's not home. And mom was there. She was hiding. She was fixing to jump out and scare me. She loved to scare us when we were kids. So she was hiding. <laughs> to jump out and scare me and when she came out and said oh my gosh I'm so proud of you good girl you know I remember thinking oh thank you lord <laughs> because I was that close to saying okay and letting me in but I didn't Whew. I don't know why I was so nervous about getting in trouble. Mom, I've never even been spanked in my life. My mother never spanked us. We got it. We had consequences, believe me, but it was not spanking or anything. It was, you know, you're grounded from the going outside or something. It was, um, so I don't know why I was so terrified of getting in trouble. I just, I guess just because I didn't want to get in trouble. So I was a goody two shoes. Boy, Sabrina though, Sabrina was the opposite of me, my big sister. Oh, I probably learned from watching her that mama knows everything. I mean, she never got by with nothing. And Sabrina was always in trouble. She was wild as the day is long. Polar opposite. We looked just alike, but we're polar opposites in our personalities. She gave mom what for? She'd sneak out. I never even, I never snuck out of the house. I never did none of that stuff. Serena was constantly sneaking out and mom would catch her and oh my gosh, it was an ongoing thing. Sabrina actually shot someone before. We, like, they were not killed. They were not killed, only maimed. But it was in the same place we were living when I was um, first in set, kindergarten, first grade, on, on the college campus in Jonesboro. We were living in family housing. So my friend and I were like five, right? Sabrina was four years older than me. So she had been like 10, 11. And we, me and my little friend were with her and her friend running around the campus. And we went into these boys, I don't know if it was a house or trailer, but someone else that lived on campus. I'm guessing they were the same age as Sabrina or close to. But anyway, they got us in there and then we were in the living room, me and my little friend, and Sabrina and her friend and the boys were in the back, right? But we, they came in there, the boys, and they were like telling Sabrina and her friend, I guess, they weren't even paying attention to us, to take off their shirts. And they had a freaking gun, right? And me and my little friend were just giggling, thinking it was hilarious, flashing our chest and stuff, you know, like it was a game. Sabrina <laughs> knew it wasn't no game, and those, she, she heard her friend wouldn't do it, and I, I guess they set the gun down or something, the boys did, and Sabrina picked it up and shot his ass. At 10 or 11, she shot him in the leg. <laughs> It was a huge deal, um, you know, as you know. 
we had to go to the police station. Um, it seemed like there was lie detector tests happening. Me and my friend told the police, you know, what we knew. So we didn't, she didn't get in any trouble. I'm sure the boy did. I'm sure his family did for having a gun. I don't even know, but yeah, she shot that kid. That's one thing about my big sister. She was a protector. She very much coddled me too, so. That's something she wouldn't even hesitate to do. You would never expect something like that to go down on a college campus with kids. Maybe he was, they were a little older, but not much. Maybe 13, I don't even remember. I need to look and see if it's in the news anywhere from back then. I love this. I love this block. Okay, here's this other one. Yeah, I love these. I was never scared during that though. There was no trauma. I was never scared. I didn't even really understand what was going on. You know, we were just laughing and st we didn't know what was happening. We were little. same college campus too. Boy, a lot of stuff happened on that college campus. Sabrina had a best friend. I don't know if it was the same one that was in the trailer with us the guy sh when she shot that dude, but I can't ask her now because Sabrina's passed away, but um, she had a friend. It was She was 11. And I remember Sabrina and I were in the bathroom brushing our teeth one morning. And Mama came in there and she was like, I'm so sorry, Sabrina, I have horrible news. You know, your little friend was killed. She's died. Oh my God. It makes me want to cry just thinking about it. And Sabrina was hysterical and she was like, you're lying, you're lying, screaming at my mom. Woo! And Mama showed her the paper. The newspaper, it was on the front page. Um, she'd been hit by a car as a, she was running across the street catching, chasing a kite and was hit and killed by a car. Oh, it was awful. It was awful. Horrible accident. Woo! Ran. You know, she just ran right out in the street chasing a kite. And what's sad too is she she realized at the last minute that she was running in front of a car and like kind of ran back to the grass. And at the same time, they were swerving to miss her and hit her in the grass. Okay, here's this one. And now I've told you all these fun stories. All these wonderful stories, right? That's cute. Let me put them on the floor so you can see them better. Okay, there they are. I love these blocks. This one's my favorite of the two. What about y'all? Which which one's y'all's favorite? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch So With Me. I'll see y'all at the next one.